Hello friends, in today's video, we shall go through the concept of Oaken's Law. Oaken's Law was put forward by Arthur M. Oaken in 1962 in his work Potential GDP, Its Measurement and Significance. Oaken's Law states that there is a negative relationship between unemployment and real GDP. So let's see in detail what this law means. An important aspect of an economy facing a recession is rising unemployment. When unemployment increases, real output decreases. Here real output indicates the output adjusted for inflation. So when unemployment is rising, it means that more and more laborers are sitting idle in their home. And these unemployed workers are not helping in the production of goods and services in the economy. So ultimately, the production of goods and services will be low and that will directly affect the real GDP. That is, real GDP will also be low. Therefore, when unemployment increases, the real output decreases. So this inverse relationship is what is called as the Oaken's law. It can be stated in another way as well. Instead of unemployment, if we take into account the employment variable, then we can see that there is a direct or positive relationship between employment and real GDP. That is, if the employment is increasing, then real GDP in an economy will also increase. Why? Because when employment increases, it means that more and more people are getting employed. So it means employed workers are helping in the production of goods and services. That means there is higher production of goods and services and ultimately the real output is also high. Oaken's coefficient can be calculated using the formula y minus y star divided by y star is equal to negative beta multiplied by u minus u star. Here y is the actual GDP, y star represents the potential GDP, negative beta represents the Oaken's coefficient, u is the unemployment rate in the current year and u star is the unemployment rate in the previous year. And y minus y star represents the output gap. It is nothing but the actual GDP minus the potential GDP. The negative sign in front of the beta represents the inverse relationship between unemployment and real GDP. Oaken's law shows a statistical relation between unemployment and GDP and the law states that when unemployment rises by 1%, the real GDP is estimated to fall by 2% or it can be stated in the other way round that is when unemployment falls by 1%, the real GDP is estimated to rise by 2%. Now, you might be wondering why a 1% rise in unemployment is causing a 2 time fall in the output. This is because the real output is not only determined by the number of unemployed workers, but is also determined by some other factors such as the lesser working hours per day or per week of those unemployed workers as well as the low average productivity of those unemployed workers. So it simply means that when more and more workers are unemployed, more and more workers are working less per day or per week. So the number of workers who are unemployed, their working hours have also decreased. At the same time, those unemployed workers' productivity has also decreased. And all these aspects is reflected in the output, that is the output falls. So all these factors contribute to twice the decrease in the aggregate output when the unemployment rises just by one point. As I said earlier, output gap is nothing but the difference between actual GDP and potential GDP, that is y minus y star. Now when output gap is negative, that is if actual GDP is less than the potential GDP, then it can be understood that there is underutilization of resources in the economy, especially labor. Since labor is underutilized, it means that more laborers are unemployed. So it means high unemployment is prevalent in the economy and high unemployment leads to lesser production of output. On the other hand, if output gap is positive, that is if actual GDP is greater than the potential GDP, then it shows that the resources in the economy, especially the labor, is utilized excessively because of which there is low unemployment or in other words, we can say there is high employment rate. That is more workers are employed and when more workers are employed, they will contribute to high level of output. Hope you all have understood what Oaken's law is. If you like the video, do subscribe and share to maximum. Thank you.